Welcome to the old town of Podgorica. This area was occupied by the Ottomans in the second half of the 15th century and onward it started to get these uh, characteristics of Ottoman architecture. Clock Tower is one of the last remaining monuments from the Ottoman era. It was uh, built in the 17th century, completed in the year 1667. It had also defensive function, which we can tell by the loopholes over there for the guns. House of uh, Kibranovic uh, family dates from the 1630 and it is the certified the oldest house in uh, old town of Podgorica. As a decorative element, quite often we can see the kibitz fenster, uh, Ottomans would say doksat, which is basically closed terrace. So now we are at uh, Skaline or so-called uh, Sastavci and here we can find the uh, 18th century old bridge which was also mentioned in the Roman times in the 15th century as well but the one that we can see nowadays here it's actually from the 18th century. Duklea or Doklea was founded in the first century during the rule of Roman Emperor Octavian. So in the first half of the first century, this uh, ancient settlement started to develop. In front of us, we can see the remains of uh, the very center of this uh, settlement, uh, Forum. There were workshops and shops, so it was also for a trading and meeting of the local people. On the left side, there was Basilica. In a, a time of the ancient Rome, Basilica was a public building. And inside, there was a Roman magistrate, let's say, also the archives, the registry books as well. So it was for public use. We can see here uh, remains of big terme. Let's say that was quite important social site of this area here. Inside people could find gymnasium to work out, but also the cold room, hot room actually. And they were meeting over there even for a business. So Budva is the capital of tourism in Montenegro, the most popular, most visited town. In the same time, Budva is very ancient town. It was founded in 5th century before Christ. About that we have many references and what is most important, material evidences. On this square we can see a stone which is exactly from Roman period. It was a Roman altar where people would give, bring some gifts to a god as a gratitude. For example, wine and olive oil. This is what they would bring on this uh, altar part here. We are now on the Square of Salt, it's known uh, like that, but uh, we like to call it Square of Six Churches. The oldest one is 5th century, the youngest one is 19th century. Citadel today is a place with amazing view, the highest point of the town and one of the favorite places exactly of the um, old tourists. But in the past it had defensive uh, uh, function and all people from town, if someone attack, would hide inside of Citadel. The Museum of Budva is founded in 2003. The most important and valuable artifact is a mosaic floor from the 2nd century AD. It is one of the oldest mosaics found in the Balkans. Uh, here on the first floor uh, there are clay vessels of various shapes and purposes from the Hellenistic period from the 4th to 2nd century BC. This part uh, was under Romans uh, starting from the 1st century BC until 4th century AD, so it is about 500 years. These are remains of the Roman uh, villa uh, from the 2nd century AD. We have uh, mosaics here, seven pieces. That mosaic uh, that we are looking at was covering the room used as the salon uh, for receptions for guests. This is uh, the room used as the bedroom. In the very center is the god of sleep, uh, Hypnos, that according to mythology was the father of the god called Morpheus. Beside Hypnos you can see here motifs of uh, bows and arrows and uh, you can see uh, the wolf teeth uh, that was symbol for the legend about Romulus and Remus. The old city of Kotor has a classic medieval merchant town layout. Every square has something beautiful to be seen, the cathedral, the churches, noble family palaces, and much more. Perast was a city whose main purpose was defense, but today it is known mostly for its Baroque architecture, which is regarded as the most beautiful in the entire Adriatic coast. 
Gospel Skrpila is the most iconic church in the entire bay, a man-made island with the most beautiful church you can imagine.